Okay, this is a Dr. Uchenna Ojime who ago. talk about the governor of the state, which is a sim live for our uh, talk. I think when I handle meetings, is, most times I finish national meetings. People come and ask me, how do you know what to say? I say, because I've seen people say it. And I have also gone to check what they said, and I've realized how... They, there's nothing like processes and procedures in every system. And you have restored the line. Because employment and retirement is like a convert. Some people come in, some people go. When people are going, what is coming in? You are overusing the left. The service rendered can never be the same. So you have not only done all these things, you have also shown your love to the NMA River State by helping them to fix their edifice that was crumbling. We, we, we don't play with such things. It touches me. Because if suddenly the edifice of NMA River State crumbles, it will become a reference. They can't even take care of their own house. And so you came to their rescue in a lot of ways. You have appointed our members into offices of responsibility. It shows, that's one of the things, I, I, when I wrote President Tinubu, like it or not, nobody has appointed eight doctors as ministers in one dispensation. Eight medical doctors are in that Federal Executive Council, and I thanked him for that. He shows that he believes in our ability and our capability, and we must pay him back positively. Nigerian doctors, I, I boast, when I go outside, I say they are well-trained. If they are not well-trained, why are they Jack Barry? Jack Barry is hinged on the fact that they believe you can function within their system. If they believe you can function within their system, they won't come for you. So I think we also, as teachers, deserve commendation. And the other health workers, too. Since I came into office, I'm sure if you're listening very well, you won't hear bickering between health workers from 2022 till today. Why? Wherever I go to talk about taking care of people, I talk about everybody, all healthcare workers. And this is the first time ever in salary review, salary of salary secular for doctors and other health workers came out the same day because I insisted on it. We all work together and we take care of ourselves together. So your, your Excellency, I won't bore you with long stories, but what I'm standing here to tell you is that all Nigerian doctors are very proud of what you have done in River State without making noise about it. And it is, yeah. So, in conclusion, I say thank you. Thank you very much. God will bless you. God will strengthen you. He will hold your hand and he will see you through to a glorious end. Thank you very much. I don't think when you do what you're supposed to do, you need to be commended. Not proper. It is the duty of the government to care for its workers. And that is what I have done. I will put it this way. I want to appreciate the Nigeria Medical Association, both national and state, for their support, their patience. I know it wasn't easy. It has never been easy for them. Even with what we have done, it's still not sufficient. We still need to do more. But for being patient, all this while, until when we were able to attend to their needs. It's not part of the needs that we have taken care of. We still have others that we will still attend to. So I want to thank you for your patience. See the government as your government. The governor and his team cannot succeed without your support. That is the truth. And any government that has the interests of its people must pay adequate attention to health care. Health care is you know, it goes with <coughs> development. That's the truth. Your workers need to be healthy, to be productive. If you put everything in place and you don't have good health, then your people will definitely be underproductive. So I want to thank you 
for what you are doing. I want to thank you for your support. And we on our part will continue to do our best to ensure that this relationship doesn't go bad. So we have taken it upon ourselves to make sure that this government will revive all the zonal hospitals. The issue of the personnel will also come in. That will be more employment because we need manpower to man those places. So we'll be calling on you from time to time for your support. The, the president has said it. We'll make your administration record a lot of positive things before you leave. Just be patient.